Lesson 5.3, Model Regrouping for Subtraction. We have the two previous videos linked in the description for you. We regroup in subtraction when there are not enough ones to subtract from. We have our minuend, our subtrahend, and our difference is the answer. When we look at this, we're trying to take 6 from 32. And this 6 is greater than the 2 in the ones place of the minuend. So we would regroup 110. One of these three tens would get regrouped as 10 ones. So here we have 32 minus 6. We have three tens and two ones. If we have 32 as three tens, two ones, we can take away 6 by regrouping a 10 as 10 ones. We can take this 10 and we can put it here as 10 ones. We move the 10 that was here to here as 10 ones. Then we have enough ones to take 6 away. We take 6 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We count what we have left. We have two tens, six ones. Two tens, six ones is 26. So 32 minus 6 is equal to 26. Here we have 46 minus 17. For step 1, we show 46 as four tens, six ones. And we ask ourselves, are there enough ones here to subtract these seven ones? If we don't have enough ones, that's step two. We regroup one ten as ten ones. Now we have three tens, sixteen ones. So for step three, we subtract seven ones from these sixteen ones. We took away five, six, seven. Now we subtract the tens. We need to take away one ten. We write the tens and the ones. We have two tens and we have six, seven, eight, nine ones. Two tens, nine ones is equal to 29. That means 46 minus 17 is equal to 29. Here we have 54 minus 16. That's five tens, four ones for 54. We need to take away 16. I only see four ones here. We need to take away six ones. So we're going to turn this 10 into 10 ones. We take this 10 and turn it into 10 ones. And now it's not there anymore. We can take this away. It's 10 ones. Now we can take away 16. We can take away six ones from here. We can take away a 10 from here. We can see we're left with three tens, eight ones. Three tens, eight ones is 38. So 54 minus 16 is equal to 38. We have six tens, three ones. We need to take away one ten, nine ones, but there aren't enough ones to take away nine ones. So we're gonna turn this 10 into 10 ones. We're gonna break apart this 10 and put it in the ones place as 10 ones. Now that it's 10 ones, we can remove it from the tens place. Now we have enough to take away 19. We can take away nine ones and one ten. We take away nine ones and one ten. Now we can see we have four tens, four ones left over. Four tens, four ones is 44. 
So 63 minus 19 is equal to 44. We need to remember to cross off or circle the 10 that we regroup so it's not counted with the remaining 10s. Here we have 41 minus 18. We have four 10s, one 1. And we're going to take this 10 and turn it into 10 ones. So now it's gone. We're going to cross it off. Now we can take away eight ones and one 10. We take away eight ones. We take away one 10. So we're going to cross another one off. We count what's left. We've got two tens, three ones. Two tens, three ones is 23. So 41 minus 18 is equal to 23. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. It's saying what number was subtracted from 45 because it's saying the difference was two tens, eight ones as a 28. So here we have 45 as four tens, five ones. What can we take away to make it a 28 instead of a 45? Well, we could trade one of these longs of 10 for 10 ones. So now that 10 is gone and we made 10 ones. We need to make two tens, eight ones. So we can take away a 10. We can take away this 10. Now we have two tens, but we only need eight ones for our difference. If we have eight ones, we have 15 ones here. We can make eight ones here. And we can take these away. That means we're taking away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. We're going to take away one ten, seven ones. One ten, seven ones is 17. That means 17 was subtracted from 45 to get 28. We regrouped a 10 as 10 ones. And we needed only two tens, eight ones, so we took another 10 away. That's the 10 for the 17. Then we had to take away seven ones to have eight ones, so we have two tens, eight ones. That means we took away 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So the number that was subtracted from 45 was 17. Alicia has 19 fewer seashells than Bob. Bob has 52 seashells. How many seashells does Alicia have? And we think 19 fewer means 19 less. Bob has 52. She has 19 fewer than Bob has. If we do 52 minus 19, we'll know how many Alicia has. We start with 52. We can draw five lines for five tens and two little circles for two ones. And there aren't enough ones here to take nine ones away. So we regroup one of the tens as ten ones. Now we can take away nine ones and one ten. We take away nine ones from here. We take away another ten because 19 is Nine ones, one ten. So now we've taken both of these away. One of them was regrouped as a ten. We look at what we have left. We have three ones and we have three tens. Three tens, three ones is equal to 33. That means Alicia has 33 seashells. Here it's asking, will we need to regroup Circle yes or no. We have 38 minus 14. We look at the ones place. Can we have eight and take four ones away? We have eight ones. Can we take four ones away? Yes, we can. So we don't need to regroup because we can take the four away from the eight without regrouping. 
Do we need to regroup? No. We can take 4 away from 8. What about here? 53 minus 16. We look at the 1's place. This has a 3. This has a 6. Can we take 6 away from this 3? No, we can't. There aren't enough 1's to take 6 away. There's only 3 here. So we would have to regroup from the 10's place. So will we need to regroup? Yes, we will. 74 minus 18. We look at the 1's place. We have 4 1's. We have 8 1's. Can we have 8 1's and take them away from 4 1's? There aren't enough 1's. We would have to regroup from the tens place so that 110 would be 10 ones. So will we need to regroup? If you said yes, you're correct. So remember when you're regrouping a 10 is 10 ones, remember to cross it off or circle it so that you remember it's not there anymore. Our next lesson, 5.4, we're going to continue learning about regrouping with subtraction. We're going to model and record two-digit subtraction. Keep trying hard. I'm proud of you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.